Many teens growing up in the age of social media struggle with self-identity and personal connections. But Solomon Berg has used it as a vessel to showcase his talents and passion for extreme flipping. I feel like everyone's impressed when they see a kid doing a flip off like a rooftop or like flipping over cars and, and crocs. But he wasn't always a flipper. Solomon had to discover his talents. I was different, not fitting in with, with the average group. I tried out like basketball and like baseball and like all the sports as a kid, but it never really interested me. It wasn't until Solomon saw a video on parkour that his new obsession was triggered. The first video was like the guy jumping the roof and then I, I saw like trampoline videos and like people doing backflips off of things and like all everything that had to do with like the sport of parkour, free running, flips. But becoming a professional parkour flipper didn't happen overnight. When Solomon was just 10 years old, his mom enrolled him in a summer camp. Every single day I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I went home at like 6 at night. And it was crazy, like insane hardcore training. Not only did they teach me how to do like flips and all that stuff, they strengthened my body to be able to do it. It was hard work. As Solomon's technique improved, he decided his name needed to reflect his unique talent. And Solomon became Solo Flow. Solo is the beginning of my name. I just wanted to stand out unique and different and have like a, a catchy name. And I, I just thought it flowed super well. With his new alias, confidence and polished skills, Solo Flow posted his first online video. The first YouTube video I made was during that like summer camp. I remember just doing some flips off of things. I put some music onto it. And then that was like my first official YouTube video and I was so excited. Solo Flow's fan base grew as his stunts became more daring and dangerous. But his popularity didn't dramatically rise until a shoe company took notice of his influence with fans and sent him a free pair of blue Crocs. And I did a few flips in them on, a, on video for the sponsored post and it was crazy. I kept posting videos with them and people just loved it. Like my engagement just like skyrocketed and like everyone was commenting like, yo, what? How is he doing that in Crocs? Like, Crocs execs loved the video too and gifted him another pair. Soon after, Solo's unique fashion style was born. Once they came to my door, I was like, do I really want to just put on the yellow ones now? Because I'm kind of known for the blue ones. And that's when I decided to mismatch them. People love the colors. All the fans, they love the colors. The Croc videos propelled him to new heights, quickly getting the attention of a well-known social media influencer. Jake Paul decided to DM me. He was like, yo, like, you want to come to my house and film a YouTube video? I was like, no way. And then like a week later, I came and did like a flip over his Lamborghini actually. It was pretty cool, it was dope. Solo Flow continued to collaborate with influencers like Sophie Dosi and Migos, as well as TikTok personality Charlie D'Amelio. She just like recently is like the most famous person on this earth right now. I think a lot of people actually um, started to recognize my TikTok for that. I flipped over her. I remember my TikTok went up like crazy after that post. Being an influencer has become more than just posting videos. He's created a lasting relationship with his fan base. The reason I keep going, because it's like, I like to see that I'm like putting an impact on the youth. They just mean everything to me, they motivate me. And as much as I inspire them, they also inspire me. I'm just honored to be in that position.